Namaste dear yogis. We are back on our yoga mats again and tonight we have a short and gentle uh, yoga class for your neck, shoulders and back. You've heard uh, the words, why are we carrying the world on our shoulders? Well, this class is all about putting the world down. So all those uh, responsibilities, all that control and pressure that we carry here, let's release that. So you feel lighter, you feel healthier and hopefully amazing. So let's get started. Pull out your mat, hop on it and well go. So we'll just start out with a cat and cows. So getting onto your all fours, knees hip width apart, wrists underneath the shoulders. And on an exhalation, press your palms down, round your back, take your gaze into your navel. And as you inhale, start to bring your chest forward. Nice. Exhale, round the back again, press the palms down, feel the shoulder blades glide apart. And as you inhale, chest forward, hat. Your table lifts up and again exhale round your back and inhale lift your gaze. Very good. Beautiful. From here just sit down onto your heels. If this feels uncomfortable feel free to sit on top of your blocks or in a cross-legged seated position. As you inhale lift your arms up Exhale, take your hands forward. Bring your right elbow underneath your left. Bind your elbows. You can either bring the wrist together, take a hold of your elbow, um, thumb or grab a hold of your shoulders. On your next exhalation, start to round your back, bring the elbows down. As you inhale, lift. Don't lift your shoulders though, just lift the elbows. As you exhale, round the back again. Inhale, come to the center, release your hands to the side. Bring your left forearm to the lower back and right hand takes a hold of your head and comes into a neck stretch. Good, release the left shoulder down. Swap, inhaling, bringing your arms up. Exhale, bring your hands to the front, your left elbow underneath the right, binding your hands into eagle arms. Again, take your forearms forward, relax the shoulders on your next exhalation. Bring your elbows down. Inhale, lift your elbows. And exhale round. Inhale, come back to the center, release the elbows to the side. Now, right forearm to the lower back, left hand takes the head down to the left. Relax the right shoulder. Beautiful, and release. Move back to your all fours if you feel like your legs are asleep and you can always clap them against the floor. Nice, on your next inhalation, lift your right arm up. As you exhale, right hand underneath your chest. Bring your head down. Inhale, lift your left arm. Exhale, bring your left hand to your lower back. 
Good. If this feels uncomfortable for any reason, your neck is hurting or your back is hurting, then release the hand down. Left hand. Good. Otherwise, take a few deep breaths. This is a short class. It's, it's for those nights where you feel that the tension in the shoulders or in your neck or in your back is just unbearable and you need to do something, but you might not have all the um, several hours to do your yoga practice. So this is a short class. Beautiful. Release your left hand down. Inhale, right arm up again. Exhale, right hand down. Moving to the left. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, left hand underneath the shoulder. Inhale, lift your right arm. Exhale, right hand to the lower back. Again, stay in here. Enjoy the opening in the upper back. Also, the twist in your spine. So you you notice you're twisting quite quite a lot, which is incredibly healing for our spine and for our digestive organs and uh, just the entire system loves it. Good. Bring your right hand up. Bring your right hand down. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, left hand down. Good job. From here, step your hands to the corners of your mat. We'll take a short puppy pose, releasing the forehead down, feeling the opening in the muscles, in the pecs, you know, the breast muscles, chest muscles, <laughs> sorry. Um, and uh, of course, in the triceps and lengthening in the upper back. It's a beautiful pose. Breathe deeply on an exhalation and allow your chest to relax down. Good. Press the palms down and start to shift yourself forward. You're going to come down with your hips and you're gonna come straight into your swing pose, bringing your forearms down, lifting yourself slightly. We're not gonna stay here for a very long time, so I prefer you to engage the muscles now. So your glutes, your quads, quadriceps, the front of your thighs, and pressing the front of the foot to the floor, lifting through your chest, pulling your forearms back, Good, you feel that opening all the way in your shoulder, uh, collarbones. Engaging your core muscle to support the back, that's absolutely crucial. Also, pulling that tailbone down. Instead of having the tailbone look up, ah, oh, it hurts your back. Pull the tailbone down. Belly in, tailbone down, engaging your glutes. What a difference, feel safe. Gonna move back into opening those shoulders and chest, so lower yourself down. Bring your left hand down to the side, right hand all the way to the side, palm facing downwards, and you're gonna roll yourself over to your right side. You can take your left leg in whichever way, either foot down or lengthening that left leg over to the right. You can also bring your left forearm to the lower back if you wish. So see what feels good, or oh, just bend the knees and even keeping the knees together is an option. Beautiful. Let's roll over to the other side. Left hand supports. Come back to the center. Bring your right hand down to the side and left hand lengthened all the way to the left palm facing downwards. And you're going to rotate yourself over to your right, left side. Good. And again, choosing your alignments. What 
feels good. What, what I often recommend is putting a block underneath your head. That's quite a nice little help. And again, if you wish, just bring that right forearm to the lower back. Beautiful. Right hand down. Come back to the center. Nice. We're going to take a quick child's pose. So this time separating our knees wide apart, big toes together. Bring your forehead down. Start to walk your elbows towards the front of your mat. Keeping your palms at the back of your head if this feels annoying and <laughs> uncomfortable then just you know keep your hands at the front and straight otherwise just stretch out upper back triceps chest hips Good. Bring your hands back down. Again, we're going to sit on our heels, bringing the knees together. This time, inhaling, bringing your arms up. As your hands are up, exhale, bend your elbows, bring the palms to the back of your head. Good. Inhale, lengthen your arms up. Exhale, hands down through the side, and you're going to bend your elbows, and you're going to try to do the same thing, bringing your palms together into a prayer position. And other option is that you just take a hold of your elbows, or you uh, take a hold of your wrist. Good. But again, try to pull the shoulders back and uh, separating your collarbones. You can even try to visualize your elbows pulling apart. It has an interesting little effect. Good. And again, inhale. We're going to bring the arms up. Palms together. Exhale. Bring your hands to the back of your head or back of the neck. Beautiful. Lengthen your hands over to the front. Push yourself down. Actually, we're going to turn over to the left side. And you can have your left hand supporting. Bend your right knee, step the right foot in front of the left thigh. And you're going to take like a side seal pose, which is stretching out your side. And like any side bend, it is incredibly effective to the health of our spine. So very good pose just allow that side to curve so you can actually feel the stretch in your obliques in the muscles in between your rib cage good oh i can actually feel like a little pop you know when the tension socket is released. It's wonderful. And then what yoga class would it be without a twist? So now step that right foot back. We're going to bend the left knee. Bring that right knee down towards the left heel. And you're going to just rotate down. You're going to lie down onto your belly. You can turn your head to the opposite direction. Just relaxing and letting go.
Very good. Slowly start to wake up from here. You're gonna just shift the legs over to the other side and come into your side stretch, stepping your left foot over. Again, you can even come up a little bit higher just to feel that deep stretch through the side body, through your obliques. Just allow that side to kind of hang so you get a deeper stretch. Don't hold on so you, you lose the stretch if you start to pull yourself up. Very good, and from here, the twist. Right knee bends, bring your left heel towards the, uh, or left knee towards the heel and rotate. Keep your hips still, but rotating from the mid back. You're gonna lie yourself down, releasing your head down. Depending how your neck is feeling, you can also look towards the um, knees, but if you turn your head away, you'll get a nice little neck stretch. Good job. Slowly, let's come back up. Oh, feeling so much lighter already. So we're gonna finish off uh, in a cross leg seated position. If you do feel like you wanna take a Shavasana after this, uh, feel free to do that, or this can be your Shavasana. We're just gonna sit for a moment and breathe. Just start by rolling your shoulders back a few times. And also, just wing your head side to side. Good, come back to the center. If you wish, turn your palms upwards. You can even bring your thumb and index finger together. Have a straight back, close your eyes. Have a calm facial expression, so you almost have like this peace reflecting from your face. Soften your shoulders. I like to visualize that as I exhale, this gentle palms are pressing my shoulders down. I can feel the gravity taking me down. I can just let go and release any bit of a tension from my shoulders. Breathe calmly. Try not to allow your mind to escape from the practice by keep it present. Either focused in the emotions uh, or sensations in your body or, you know, or focus it on your breathing. Feeling there coming in and out through your nostrils.
Very good. Now bring your palms together. Rub your palms to create heat. And then cover your closed eyes with your warm palms. In the darkness of your palms, open up your eyes. And take your hands back to your heart center. Namaste. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for taking this time to me to release tension and uh, just to create softness and to create freedom in ourselves. So this was wonderful. I wish you the most loveliest day and um, feel free to give me thumbs up or comment or donate little something because we're in Finland going through some really rough times with the COVID again now for the sixth week the yoga studios are closed but the bars and restaurants are open which makes it incredibly fun and it's just only slightly annoying so feel free to help us here uh, us little yogis in Finland but it doesn't even matter. Most, most important thing is that you take time for yourself and you help yourself. That is what I aim to do with my uh, YouTube videos. I, I want you to be there for yourself, to help yourself find freedom and find peace. Thank you. See you again. Bye.